What is DKT about? Okay, for those of you who don't know us, um, DKT International is a global uh, nonprofit organization that's dedicated to improving access to family planning and contraceptives, uh, affordable, I should say, contraceptives, to people all over the developing world who need them. Uh, the organization is based in the USA, but we're active in, uh, well, 30 to 50 different uh, countries in the world. And uh, we've been in the Philippines since 1991, so we just celebrated last year our 30th anniversary here. Wow. Uh, this is one of our earliest and most successful country programs in the world. Oh, that's great to know. Um, and, uh, you know, most people in the Philippines who I meet in day-to-day -day life, they, they know us mainly through our brand, which mm -hmm. is Trust, mm -hmm. Reproductive Health Choices. And they know Trust Condoms, they know Trust Pill. Um, these are products that we sell, but even though we sell them, uh, we are nonprofit. So mm -hmm. all of the profit from these sales are reinvested back into our cause, which is promoting family planning, uh, the availability of uh, these goods at mm -hmm. an affordable price for ordinary people, yeah. and uh, to spreading the word and, and making sure there's accurate educational information about reproductive health and family planning. Mm -hmm. So how are we doing so <coughs> far? I mean, you've been here for 30 years and you're still here. Mm. How is Philippines doing so far? Fantastically well. Um, I think, you know, the... When we first arrived, it, Dr. Flavier made this point, there was uh, these commodities like condoms, pills, other forms of contraception, maybe IUDs, for example. They were not in easy supply because the government wasn't providing them. Mm -hmm. Now, because of the RH law being passed, uh, the g DOH and uh, government agencies like Popcom make sure these supplies are more available than in the past, but we still are growing our sales year upon year in the private sector so that's a good sign. But uh, I think we still, if I may offer the opinion, uh, often when we're doing our education work in the barangay, mm -hmm. we gather together women who are pregnant and we have uh, either doctors or midwives give them a basic lecture about what are your family planning options. By the time we give them that education, they may have already had two children. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit too late. Mm -hmm. People need to learn about these options and about their reproductive health before they become sexually active mm -hmm. or when they're just starting to become sexually active in their teen years. Mm -hmm. So as to prevent these unwanted pregnancies in the very early stage of a woman's life. Mm -hmm. So um, we really feel like the important thing that we do that's not done enough is the education part because in the schools of the Philippines, as you know, uh, basic family planning education is still mostly absent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I agree yeah. with you on you, on that. Uh, Haya mentioned about options. Mm -hmm. What is the relationship between DKT and NSV <laughs> being one of the options? Sure. Well, um, in, in, as I said, we have these brands of products that we sell on a nonprofit social marketing basis. But we also have DKT Philippines Foundation, mm -hmm. which is more involved in the classical, I'd say, non-NGO work, mm -hmm. which is education, outreach mm -hmm. and uh, these kinds of things and one of the major programs of DKT Philippines Foundation is the promotion of vasectomy uh, specifically in the last few years we've been very focused on non-scalpel vasectomy mm -hmm. or NSV NSV non-scalpel non so that's uh, these are exciting times from where I sit these are exciting times for uh, DKT and uh, what they're bringing to our country because for the first two decades that they were here it was mostly those temporary short-term mm -hmm. methods condom pills injectables but lately they're even introducing I think the two rod implant the longer term con uh, contraceptive and uh, for IUD during our time, Dr. Bien, we only had the short rod IUD for uh, uh, interval. Uh, those who are not yet, uh, who are no longer pregnant, but no longer want to have children. Now we have IUDs that you can insert immediately after delivering. So all of those uh, new commodities of uh, DKT are coming in. But of course, my uh, personal love is their involvement in no scalpel vasectomy, mm -hmm. which is explained properly now. We have a, a for-profit side that's plowed back and the profit goes to help men and couples who have already achieved their family size 
and no longer want to have uh, children. So vasectomy is a wonderful uh, service, including mm-hmm. ligation and others that are being uh, promoted by DKT. Mga kapatid, kaya po namin ginagawa ito, tugnay nga po ito sa uh, buwan ng Family Planning Month ngayong Agosto. At kami po dito sa programa ay um, we're pro-choice. We gusto po namin kayong um, uh, hainan ng mga pwede po ninyong Ipina- I- gusto po namin introduce sa inyo, i-educate kayo, just like what Hayam said, na you have so many options. Options. Um, para yeah, planuhin po ang inyong pamilya. Mm-hmm. At yun po yung, at isa po dito ay ang vasectomy. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's talk about vasectomy now. I've known Dr. John D. <laughs> for two decades now. Yeah. And from the time I met him, ano na, di ba? Ano ka na nun? Na, Tapyas na. na. Tapos na. Ano man tawag doon? Na. Pag vasectomize? Na, ano bang term? Na, natalian na. Ta, yun, nata, tali na si Dr. Kasi John. Kasi vasectomize, e. parang victimized eh. Hindi naman. Kaya hindi tinalian na tinalian tamang lang. term. Tinalian. Tinalian. Ayan. Na dumaan na po siya sa vasectomy. Hmm. Alright. What is vasectomy? How is it done? Siguro, um, I hope you don't mind, Hayam, if we um, uh, we explain it in Filipino. Of so course. So more of our uh, uh, fellow People, men would yeah. understand. Ah, sure. Uh, maganda yung sinimulan ni uh, Dr. Bien eh, na nung uh, panahon namin ni Dr. Bien, <laughs> nung, uh, nung 13 years old pala siya, <laughs> ang vasectomy nun ay gumagamit ng scalpel o parang kuchillo yeah, they did. na mataalas. Uh, They Pagkatapos, use knife on me. Yeah, no. Oh, oh. May pampamanhid naman. Oh, mayro pampamanhid. Oh. Pero what happened was, yung wife ko oh. is a uh, oh, third, third already. Oh. Third na. Third tatlo na, na po. Baby. Mukha lang pong binata si Doc Bien. <laughs> pero no. tatlo na po ang anak ni Doc Bien. And then, nagkaroon ng parang complications yung last mm. pregnancy. Mm. So the OB gynecologist talked to me and said, uh, what are your plans mm. tungkol sa ano? Uh, family planning. Uh-huh. Sabi ko, I uh-huh. don't know. <laughs> Kasi hindi pa pwede. Ay parang, uh-huh. um, uh, hindi na pwedeng because of the complication. Nung, parang, nakakatakot nung pregnancy, na parang, pa. uh-huh. wag na magbuntis. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ngayon, sa, tinatanong ako, pwede, gusto, would you like na magpalaygate? Kailangan, uh-huh. kasi with consent ng uh-huh. husband. Sabi ko, parang unfair na ako lang ang magde-decide. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, dapat may decision uh-huh. din yung, yung wife. So, we postponed it. Mm-hmm. And I do not know whether to undergo vasectomy or not kasi I was afraid. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of misconception. Yes. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. But the since I have a family, uh, I have a fraternity uh, mm-hmm. sa medicine, they were the ones who were able to talk to me. And uh, one thing na that got into my mind, which uh, actually I agreed upon, is sabi, uh, at least nobody is going to knock on your door and say, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Totoo, totoo. <laughs> Kayo talaga mga lalaki. Maraming oh, oh. nakakatakot. Pero oh, oh. tama yun. Na, oh, oh. It's a reality. Lalo yun. We're young. We're Lalo young. We do not know, di ba? Yung panahong yun, hiwa talagang ginagawa hiwa. Cheryl. So si Cheryl, swerte kami, nakita niya eh, mismo yes. sa palabas na uh. ang ginagamit na lang uh, pantusok. Yeah, May it was so easy. Oh, we did dali. it at 6 in the morning. Yeah. We encouraged everyone to just come. We were doing our our live show <laughs> and encouraged everyone to whoever wants to go <laughs> out to do a vasectomy. It's for free. Yeah. Walk in? Walk, Walk in. in. Walk yeah, in. we were open. Uh, at the start of the I show, think we, the I, men would be coming in, Cheryl, you talk to them. Uh-oh. Before the show ended, the men would be coming out and talking about uh, how what they experienced. Uh-huh. And, and there then, was this yeah. one guy yeah, who okay. allowed me to watch. Really? Sabi ko, walang mali siya, no malice. I just want to see how it's done. Uh-huh. And it was so easy. Very simple. But no longer using the knife. No uh-huh. more knife. Uh-huh. Paano na ba ang tawag uh-huh. doon? Uh-huh. Noong kasi, scalpel ang ginagamit. So may hiwa. But uh, dahil nga hiniwa mo, kailangan mo tahiin pa. Mm-hmm. So mas matagal bago gumaling mm-hmm. ng uh, tuluyan. Sa no scalpel vasectomy, andyan yung pampamanhid. Tusok na lang, hmm. binabanat yung balat ng uh, bayag natin, maabot na yung mga tubo na daluyan ng uh, sperm cells o yung binhi. Parang Kaya, white vein siya yeah, eh, tama, naalala tama. ko. Parang oh, spaghetti oh. na... Oh, parang, uh, uh, ma- 
Spaghettini. Oh, yeah. Spaghettini. Yung Spaghetti nipis. Spaghetti pababa. Na mali. Pero... Na manipis. Eh, kasi, uh, diba? Parang one. angel hair. Tatalian yung lang yun. Yung kapal niya. Oh. Uh-huh. Tapos, pagkatapos talian yun, uh, kusang uh, mag... Uh, magsasara. Magsasara yung uh, balat ng uh, Ganun backlog. Ganun lang, kadali. Band-aid na lang ang uh, takip. Uh-huh. Wala Band-aid na tayo. lang? No Wala more stitches? Tayo. Wala na. I no had more, stitches. No more. So, yeah. And I was walking parang like that. Yeah. Pero it's not really painful. But that was how many years ago? Eh, that would be almost 30 years ago. 30 years ago. <laughs> eh, yung Umasok gayon. Umasok scalpel, mga two, year 2000 or so, mga ganon. Okay. Pero, gonna, oh, pero, pero, this is very important. Uh, yeah. no? Kasi, when I had it, as a medical doctor already, may idea na ako. Mm-hmm. But now, when I was talking about it to other men, ang daming question sa akin. Totoo. One. <laughs> baka wala ka ng power, ha? You yeah, cannot perform anymore. Uh-huh. Number two, baka naman I cannot carry any more heavy things. Mm-hmm. Oh, yan. Uh, number three, uh, yung I will lose my body, papayat ako, and everything. Yung muscle, yung pagiging muscle. Muscle, you lose. You cannot uh, do uh, exercises and sports anymore. Uh, so many misconceptions. Totoo, and the last thing was, they were saying na, baka maging cancerous yan. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's why we're here, mga ah. kapatid, para po klaruhin at linawin yung mga iniisip nyo, yung mga myth, ano mm. po, yeah. ano, ay uh, patu, um, uh, ano ba to, um, uh, sasabihin natin yan kung totoo or hindi. Ah. Ayan. Okay, simulan natin, Doc John, the sex drive. Okay. Yung uh. sex life. Makaka-apekto ba ito sa sex life ng isang lalaki, ng mag-partner pag sumailalim sa vasectomy. Okay. Yung uh, isipin natin, yung mga hindi pa nagpapatali na walang ginagamit na paraan ng pagplano, chinechempo mo kung kailang ka pwedeng makipagtalik para hindi mabunti si misis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pero ang natural po, sa panahon na pwedeng mabunti si misis, yan mga pinakahanda siya. Madulas yung kanyang kwerta, ma- maganda yung kanyang katawan, mm-hmm. handa makipagtalik. Pero kung hindi ka nagpabasectomy, hindi mo pwedeng galawin si Missy sa panahon na yan. Mm-hmm. Pag nagpatali ka, uh, pwedeng-pwede, lagi kang handa. Kaya Anything. only sex ang tawag namin. Eh. So, uh, sa madalit salita, mas maganda ang relasyon ni Missy uh, at ikaw kasi handa siya sa panahon na yon. Mm-hmm. Pangalawa, dahil hindi ka nag-aalala, ako kasi nung hindi pa ako nagpatali, ang inaalala ko, naku, baka mabuntis na naman si Patit, si mm-hmm. Doktora. Eh, pag mabuntis yan, yung gatas sa mahal-mahal, papaaral, <laughs> yes. tapos ano pang gastos, sa gatas pa lang lumalambot na eh. <laughs> eh, pag nagpatali ka na, kampanti ka na, handang-handa ka na, na hindi ka matatakot, kaya mas bigay na bigay. So, uh-huh. Sa madaling salita, dahil walang takot, hindi ka nangangamba, madalas mas maganda ang relasyon ni mis- nyo ni misis. At gaya ni Doc Ben, matutuwa si misis eh, na yung kapakanan niya ang iniisip yes. ni Dr. Ben, <coughs> siya naman <coughs> ang uh, aako ng responsibilidad para Uh-oh. sa pagtana ng pamilya. Mm-hmm. So hindi makaka-apekto, okay, sa performance. Kasi iniisip Gaganda ng mga lalaki. Eh. Oh. Yung mga lalaki, kasi yun ang... Aminin po natin na yun po yung pinaka-concern nyo, diba? Na parang, teka, baka will I give pleasure to my partner pa rin, <laughs> diba? At saka, iniisip ng lalaki, nothing is going to come out anymore. Ayun, Ay, yung no. similia. Oh, It's may like milk tea pa rin without daw, the ba? pearls. Oh, Ayun, para mas maintindihan natin. Kahit mga manggagamat, natatakot din doon. Tawa ko doon, milk tea without the pearls. Tatali, ay, huwag milk tea without the pearls. Misis ko, gustong-gusto yung sago eh. Eh, meron pa namang sago. Pero babalik tayo doon sa akala na pagkatinalian, kasi pag sukdula na, hindi ba sumisirit? Eh, pagkatinalian, akala nila pito na lang. Wala na. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> totoo yun. Kasi pag tinalian, ang hindi lang nakakadaan yung mga binhi, yung sperm cell. Mm-hmm. Pero kalakhan ng tamod, kalakhan ng katas na lumalabas ay galing sa ating prostata. Mm-hmm. Hindi mm-hmm. naman ginagalaw yun eh. Mm-hmm. So sa madaling salita, pag tinalian ka, pag tignan mo yung dami ng tamod na lalabas, halos mm-hmm. pareho lang. 
pagkating na mo yung kulay, itsura, halos pareho. Mm-hmm. Yung mga bading na kaibigan ko, lasa din daw, pareho eh. Yeah. So, hindi nila napapansin. <laughs> Pero, pagtignan mo sa microscope, yung... Uh, wala na yung, yung semilla. Wala yung sperm cells sperm. yung nagpatali. Uh-huh. Kaya yun yung una. Uh-huh. Hindi totoo yun. Sisirit pa rin at uh, sa okay. sukdulan. Hindi mahalata ng misis mo kung nagpatali ka o hindi. Uh-huh.